So uh, I'm a real estate photographer. Chris, can you take us through this in terms of like, okay, from a real estate photographer standpoint, how, how does this get implemented? Okay. I'll walk you through it. So it's actually okay. super duper simple. Um, okay. There is a, a one whole checkbox that you need to click on. Oh uh, and when you click on it, it's, it's enabled. And then part of any eye guide is something called views. And so this leverages that. And it's a way of showing um, an eye guide in different ways. So all you have to do is configure a, a view um, that's automatically created. You don't do anything except check the box to be something different. So with eye guide, you have full control over what people see and what they don't see. It's a big strength. Uh, it's very useful because it allows you to show things on a floor plan that you don't show visually. You know, with maybe a competing technology, you might have to show that, otherwise there'd be some sort of hole. With eye guide, that's not really a problem. So that means that when you're configuring an eye guide, you can choose to turn things on and off. So we're using that essentially to create, you know, sort of a uh, uh, an initial view or a default view, and then a detailed view. And so all the photographer has to do is check the box saying, "Yep, I'd like to turn it on," <laughs> and then go in and and configure the the second view or the detailed view. Um, to have uh, more visuals on, you know, so that's right. honestly, it's like about a minute and a half to mm -hmm. do. It's very easy. Like Could you show you... us? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me share again. Talk amongst yourselves while I do this. Yeah. Great. Okay. Chris, you can go to uh, goeyeguide.com. Uh, yeah. Okay. Great. So this is this is behind the scenes. Okay. So this is <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, only why guide operators get to see this, but there are. Um, two you know sort of things here two boxes so one represents the detailed view it's this one on the right and the other one represents the default view so i'm going to show you the well extremely complicated process of enabling this funny. Um, there's funny. <laughs> there's a single checkbox and you just click it and when you click that it automatically creates that second view um and then the um second view is here and then, so if you haven't, you'll, I mean, this should be pretty familiar to, to most anybody. Really. So essentially you've opened two windows here, right? So you have the detail and the That's right. default view so, open, just oh. so people can follow along. So, so, so when that box was checked, essentially, as, as Charlene says, it's a duplicate tour. So you have two identical tours. Now you're taking the initial view that you want to have the home buyer look at. Mm -hmm. That's right. So you could think of it like this. It's um, essentially uh, two steps. We can we can slim it down to two. You turn it on, and then you have to go in and configure the automatically created duplicate view, if you will. So you can see this one. I've already configured it, but it has all the exteriors turned on. And it's got the garage turned on. Okay. Um, so how you configure it is completely up to you. So we made this sort of obvious distinction. Well, well for example, example, the garage, when we looked at the first tour, there was there was no uh, scan points in the garage. So how how would we disable those? Yeah, that's that's that first view. How did how did those get disabled? So I hope that that was visible. I yes, guess it I went from green to red. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so when it's red, that means it's essentially like off. And if I double click on it, that means it's on. That's it. So you can just... Mm -hmm. Double click on all the scans you would like on or off and red is off and green is on. That's it, easy peasy. I like that little trick you did where you turn them all off and then you just chose what to turn on. Oh yeah, there's there's like, sort of advanced controls. You can go up here and you can turn, turn yeah, turn them all off and I then you can go turn trick. them back on one by one. What we've found is that um, people like a simpler tour sometimes, it's less overwhelming. So from a photographer's perspective, they might wanna configure that for their agent so that their MLS is showing a tour with fewer scans. It's just less, you know, less hassle for the, the you know, the well, home that's buyer. Less that's less yeah. overwhelming, exactly. Yeah. So the, the detailed version of the tour, well, I mean, they want more information, so you can give them that. You can turn on everything, you know, and so they can see um, significantly more data. So you can have curated experiences that are for different stages in that buyer's, you know, journey. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from the real estate, the real estate photographer's perspective, there's two things. One, check the box that you would like to have the eye guide lead magnet activated mm -hmm. that creates a duplicate tour. And then second, either as Charlene mentioned, deactivate all scan points and add in just the ones you want or, or the reverse, 
start with all your scan points and then hide the ones you don't want to show. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Got it. Great. Um, 